In this Easy Ed video lecture, we will take a look at system of coplanar forces, wherein we will learn about composition of forces and then find the resultant of concurrent system of forces by graphical and analytical method. Now we will learn about composition of forces. Composition means to merge the forces acting in a system into a single force, which has the same effect as all the forces acting together. Such a single force is called as the resultant of the system. Finding the resultant helps to study the effect of all the forces on the system. Now we will learn how to find the resultant of a concurrent system of forces. This can be carried out by any one of the following two methods. Now let's learn how to find the resultant of a concurrent force system by graphical method. First, we will see how to find the resultant by graphical method for two forces acting at a point. The fundamental principle of finding the resultant of two forces is the parallelogram law of forces. According to this law, if F1 and F2 are the two forces acting on a body, the resultant force can be obtained by constructing a parallelogram ABCD in which the sides AB and AC represent the forces F1 and F2 in magnitude and direction. Then, the diagonal AD represents the resultant R in magnitude and direction. It may be observed that the same result can be obtained by using the triangle law of forces via constructing the triangle ABD instead of constructing the parallelogram ABCD. Line AB is drawn to represent the force F1 and BD to represent F2. The closing line AD of triangle ABD represents the resultant force in magnitude, line of action and direction. Thus, we can use both parallelogram law and the triangle law of forces to find the resultant of a concurrent force system of two forces. Now, let's learn to find the resultant when more than two forces are acting on a body. In such a situation, two forces at a time can be combined by the triangle law of forces and finally, the resultant of all the forces acting on the body can be obtained. In the figure, a system of concurrent forces consisting of four forces F1, F2, F3 and F4 acting on a body is shown. AB represents F1 and BC represents F2. As per triangle law of forces, AC represents the resultant of F1 and F2, say R1. Now CD is drawn to represent F3. Then in triangle ACD, AC represents R1, CD represents F3 and therefore AD represents the resultant of F3 and R1. That is, AD represents the resultant of F1, F2 and F3, say R2. Similarly, if DE is drawn to represent F4, in triangle ADE, AD represents R2 and DE represents F4. AE represents the resultant of F4 and R2. That is, AE represents the resultant of F1, F2, F3 and F4. Instead of constructing a set of triangles of forces, the above result may be obtained by constructing a force polygon ABCDE by using polygon law of forces. The method to be followed in the construction of polygon of forces is as follows. Line AB is drawn to represent force F1 in magnitude and direction. Line BC is drawn to represent the next force F2. This process of representing a force from the end of the line representing the previous force is continued till all the forces are represented. Then, the closing line of the resulting polygon is drawn. Thus, we can use both triangle law and the polygon law of forces to find the resultant of a concurrent force system of more than two forces. Seriously, pay attention. This is important. Now, let's learn how to find the resultant of a concurrent system of forces by analytical method. First, we will see how to find the resultant by analytical method for two forces acting at a point. For this, we will use the mathematic formula of parallelogram law of forces. Let P and Q be two forces acting at a point A, making an angle alpha with each other as shown. The forces are drawn such that AB and AD represent forces P and Q. Completing the parallelogram ABCD, the diagonal AC represents the resultant R. Mathematically, the resultant can be expressed by the following equation. Then, the inclination of the resultant is found using this formula, where 
theta is the angle made by resultant r with the force p. It may be observed that for different values of inclination, alpha between the two forces, the formula also changes. Let's consider the given problem. Two forces of 100 newtons and 60 newtons act on a eye bolt at A as shown. Determine the resultant of the two forces. Let P is equal to 100 newtons and Q is equal to 60 newtons. Firstly, we find the angle between the two forces P and Q, alpha which is 105 degrees. Now, by applying parallelogram law of forces, we find the resultant R is equal to 102.4 newtons. Now let's find the inclination of the resultant. Let theta be the angle it makes with the force P. Now we can use the relation tan theta is equal to Q sine alpha upon P plus Q cos alpha. On calculating, we find theta is equal to 34.45 degrees with 100 newton force. Hey, it's time to concentrate now. Now let's learn the method to find the resultant of concurrent system of forces when two or more forces are acting at a point. In such cases, we can use parallelogram law of forces, but it can be only applied to two forces at a time. Thus, we would have to find the resultant of two forces and then apply the formula again to the next force and the resultant. This procedure would continue till all the forces are analyzed and only one resultant is found. Hence, in order to avoid tedious repetition of parallelogram law of forces, we will use the method of resolution. Let us now take a look at the various steps used in this method. Firstly, we resolve all the inclined forces, if any, into horizontal and vertical components. Then, we add all the horizontal and vertical forces to find summation of forces in both x and y direction respectively. Then, we calculate the resultant r using the equation shown. Then, we have to find the inclination of the resultant with the x-axis theta. This is done by using the relation. Finally, we decide the quadrant of the resultant. Depending on the table shown alongside, if summation fx is positive and summation fy is also positive, then the resultant lies in the first quadrant. If both are negative, then the resultant would be in the third quadrant. Similarly, if summation fx is negative and summation fy is positive, then resultant would be in the second quadrant. Similarly, the resultant would be in the fourth quadrant for positive fx and negative fy. Thus, we can find the resultant of a concurrent force system of two or more than two forces. Let's see the following example. Three forces A, B and C are shown in the figure. Find one force, magnitude and direction. That will have the same effect as the three forces. There are three forces given and we have to find the resultant. Firstly, all the inclined forces are resolved along the x-axis and the y-axis as shown. Then, we find the summation of forces along the positive x-axis and y-axis respectively. Along the x-direction, this is found to be 6.34 newton to the left and along the y-direction, it is 27.5 newton upwards. Then, we can find the resultant using the following relation. The resultant is found to be 28.22 newton. Now, let us calculate its inclination with the positive x-axis. This angle is found to be 102.98 degrees. Now let's consider the following problem. Determine the force F in cable BC if the resultant of the concurrent forces acting at B is vertical. Also determine the resultant. We will first resolve all the inclined forces along the x-axis and the y-axis. This is a concurrent system of three forces acting at B with a vertical resultant, that is the system has no or zero horizontal component and we have to find the unknown force and the resultant. Now, we can equate the summation of forces along the positive x-axis to zero and along the y-axis to the resultant. On solving, we find the unknown force F to be equal to 6.378 kN and the resultant to be 27.08 kN. Let's have a quick review of what we've studied in this lecture. 
composition means to merge the forces acting in a system into a single force which has the same effect as all the forces acting together such a single force is called as the resultant of the system then we learned how to find the resultant of a concurrent force system by the graphical method in graphical method we use the parallelogram law primarily to find the resultant but we can also use the derived laws like triangle law and polygon law to find the resultant then we learn to find the resultant of concurrent system of forces using the analytical method for a two force concurrent system we use the mathematical expression of a parallelogram law of forces next we learn the method to find the resultant of concurrent system of two or more forces using method of resolution when two or more forces act at a point the method of resolution is used to avoid tedious repetition of parallelogram law of forces we also learned the steps to find the resultant by using resolution of forces